Hello, welcome to Conversations with Kez. Today I have a lovely lady with me who is a playwright and her name is Jerry Kepler. Jerry, I met you a long time ago at the um, Belling Up Festival mm -hmm. for Kitties, the Kitties Writing Festival there, and I didn't quite know what you did, but we had a quick chat mm -hmm. and since then we've been on Facebook together. And I suddenly realised that you're a, a magic playwright for the young ones. Um, you empower them to be who they want to be. Uh, you give them a, a certain space in their lives that they can react and act, act, act their anger, I guess, with you on stage. I think it's wonderful what you do. Would you like to explain to the audience what you actually do do? Well, I am an English teacher by, by trade. But I've always written and I have now come into the drama circle. So I also teach a drama group as well of young people, tweens and teens usually, but there are still even some tinier tots in there. And the way I like to see it is that it's a safe space where the children can come together and they can not only learn stagecraft, but they can also explore their own feelings. So I like to try to make it into a safe space for the kids and that age group, the tweens and the young teens, they are, it is a very tumultuous time in their lives. So I like them to be able to explore what's going on in their lives, but once removed. So it's not them ex that's, ex that's experiencing this. It's the character that they've created that's mm. experiencing it. And what is important is that the other children in the group are also the same age. They might be experiencing similar issues and the responses that come out. So I often will make them act out a scenario. Sometimes I know a bit of a background through a parent has told me and so I'll weave that in. And so they have to then work out a scenario, but they have to show a solution to that scenario. Sounds great. And that gives not only that child an option to be able to work through it, but the other kids in the group Either they filter it through in the back of their mind if they haven't experienced it yet, or maybe one of the younger ones haven't experienced it yet, but it's still, it's there, and it's an open dialogue with adults and, more importantly, with other peers their own age. And then, of course, so that's the drama classes, and then, of course, I also do write my own plays. I heard as, about that. In fact, I think I've seen one. Yeah, I think so too. <clears throat> and I... Basically there has been a change. When I was a young writer, I always liked sci-fi and I still do, that's my mm -hmm. first love. But as being a year 11 and 12 ATAR teacher, I started realizing that the children didn't quite get some of the texts that were given to them. So I wrote on the themes and that they're going to experience in ATAR, but brought it down to them, for them to experience and them to understand through their own experience what there is. So it became way more into human interaction, human communication, and drawing from a lot of the themes that they will experience in school. And those plays, and I've, I've um, casted with very young actors. Some of them, it's their first time acting. So I've seen this. Sometimes yeah. they don't carry on, but quite a few of them have actually gone, I mean, they're still young, but yes. have gone on to audition for other mm -hmm. shows. And they've used this as a as a launch pad to to go on for other shows and and uh, hoping to to break into the industry as well. But I see it mainly as a safe space for them to explore their own feelings, as well as by being an, another character, being able to see that what they're experiencing is normal, and giving them solutions without sitting there preaching at them, giving them solutions. Sounds wonderful. Yeah. So. What you're actually saying is that you empower them yeah. to be who they want to be yes. as they get older. Whether that is through the creative arts or through something else, <clears throat> it just gives them a, self, a sense of worth mm. that a lot of kids, I find, aren't getting through traditional means. And they're coming very young and in some cases quite confused and it just gives them the safety to be them. Mm and play make-believe makes me want to come to one of your classes <laughs> <laughs> and it's fantasy and, and yes make-believe with a tinge of so why I like to interview people like yourself is to learn about your legacy or your footprint that you want to leave behind 
not as when you've passed over, nothing like that, <laughs> but, but what are the children actually going to learn um, and how they, they're going to react and what you want to leave behind. What I want to leave behind <laughs> are rounded children who feel like they are someone, no matter what they do, that they are someone and that they are worth being listened to, worth being watched, their ideas are worth it being considered, and also that they learn how to communicate with each other. It's great having ideas, but how to communicate exactly. those that ideas That is so as well. important, how to communicate. Not I necessarily become a, mm. become a yes man or a yes woman, but to be able to communicate even when it's a no, I don't agree with what the majority is saying. So you're wanting them to take this empowerment into their days when they're yes. employed? Yes, into their daily into their, life. When they, with their parents themselves? Yes, exactly. Yeah. And teach their kids. And be able yeah. to understand what the, and to remember what they went through. Mm. And yes, to take that into their, into their future lives. At this stage, I don't think they can see past the next couple of years, <laughs> but I hope mm. that they have it in them. And I always have a level of writing as well, that if they ever want to, create something mm. themselves, there's an open space and there's actors to act it out so that they can see what they've created. Thank you, Jerry. So when's the next play? The title of the play, it's one that I've written, it's called Vignettes, so that's the next one coming mm -hmm. through. And again, it explores the concept of freedom for humanity and are we free? And it goes, switches between the a non-disclosed time period, but around the 1800s to current day, switching between the two, hence the name Vignettes. Lovely. And you're exploring the idea of freedom. Mm. Will we free then? Are we free now? Are we ever going to be free? Well, that's debatable. Exactly. Because we all get trapped in our own minds, don't we? Exactly. Well, thank you, Jerry. It's been lovely talking to you. It's been lovely talking to you. And I hope to see you at your next play. Mm -hmm. And thank you for watching Conversations with Kids.